Hello everyone, long time no see. So today, what brings me back to the tube is the month of July. I have been reading again. All of a sudden, I have been reading again. Um, I have to say I'm really proud of myself. And because I have been reading again, I've decided that I'm going to be participating in the Reading Rush Readathon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, it's being hosted by Ariel and Raylene. I'm going to be linking down all the videos concerning the Readathon down below so you guys can check them out. And yeah, without any further ado, we're just going to go right into the video. So, transition. Okay. So, so for challenge number one, we have is read a book with purple on the cover. And for this one, I picked two books. And I'm leaning towards one more than the other. But I'm going to be showing you both. And, and hold on one second. So the first one I'm going to be showing you is the one I'm leaning more towards. And that's Aurora Rising by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. So the reason I'm leaning more towards this one is because of the blurb in the back. Which I'm going to read after I tell you a little bit what the book's about. So the book is about Aurora. I'm kidding. Um, probably. Probably. Um, the book is about a group of friends or students who come together and they discover this girl, Aurora, and she might be the catalyst to a war. I really like the blurbs on the front and on the back. Again, the first blurb is, they're not the heroes we wanted. They're just the ones we could find, which I think is hilarious. I feel like the book is going to be very humorous and I am all about humor. Um, and then the back is like, meet the squad of your dreams and then of your dreams is like slashed out and it says the alpha, the diplomat, the scientist, the gearhead, the warrior, the pilot, and the mystery girl. And I'm just really intrigued. I'm guessing this is Aurora, the mystery girl, and it's giving me Guardians of the Galaxy vibes and I, I love that movie. And then the second choice I have for reading a book with purple on the cover is Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. And then this one is about a girl named Spencer who wants to be a pilot like her father, um, but is having a difficult time getting through pilot school just because her father has recently been named a coward and that's really hard especially in a society where they value bravery above all else so that's kind of all I know it's a beautiful cover and I think the girl has purple eyes which fitting since it's a purple anyways for challenge number two we have pick a book that you will be reading in one place not one sitting necessarily but just one place and for this one so for this uh, challenge, I picked the sequel to this book, which oh, you can't see. And this book is Duel of Fire by Jordan Rivet. And this is a book that got me back into reading at the beginning of July. It was a recommendation by Murphy. I don't want to say her last name because I don't want to butcher it. But I'm going to be linking also her channel down below so you guys can see it um, and check it out. It's great. I've been obsessed with her channel. And I have to say this was such a fast-paced humorous refreshing read i really enjoyed the main character she's a swordswoman so she like you know sword fights and then i also really enjoyed like the main lead interest i won't say love interest though there might be something there i thought he was really refreshing and he he just seems more like a person than just the love interest and i i love that about my fantasy also this is an indie book which is always good to support. Um, I'm going to read the second one for this reading challenge. Um, they're really fast paced and like really fast books, like short books. This is the book and it's beautiful. It's called King of Mist and this is the second book. And again, I'm going to try to read this one in one place, probably on my bed because I never read anything on my bed. Ah. Uh, I just always read in the kitchen. And then we have challenge number three, which is read a book you meant to have read in last year, 2018. And for this one, I picked again two books because currently, currently, let me just, I've been reading Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare, and this is book two in the Infernal Devices series. And I, I, I love this series so much. It's just so good and I already read this book. This is my reread. I read it in December and I know it's gonna crush me. The first time I read it, it crushed me. I I, I was crying. I was bawling out. I, I mourned this book for like a week, which is why I couldn't finish the third book, which is going to be the book I'm going to try to read for this challenge. So hold one second. This is the book I'm hopefully going to be reading uh, because I meant to have read this in 2018 and look at it. It's so beautiful even though this character in the middle. Oh, oh, I don't like her I think if it is the person I know who it is <sighs> But anyway, so we still have a week left before the readathon So if I finish 
Lord of Shadows and then finish and go on to this one and also finish this one, then obviously I can't read this one anymore. Then I'll probably pick up Tower of Dawn by Sarah J. Mass. And this is a novella-like book um, between the last book and its predecessor. So I need to read the last book because I need to finish this series because I love this series again. And this... I need to read this one. Well, I'm like not that excited but also excited because I've heard good things about it so hopefully I'll get to it. Hopefully I'll love it just like other people have and, and yeah. I'm pretty sure that I'm probably going to be reading Queen of Air and Darkness which I'm not mad about. I just I know I'm going to mourn it. The smart thing to do would be to read it towards the end of the readathon so I can just mourn after that and not the beginning because then I won't want to read any other book because I'll be mourning. So um yeah. And then for challenge number four, it's read an author's first book. And for this one, I've chosen three because I'm extra like that. Um, so two of these three have can like fit the other challenges, which is like read a book to movie adaptation and read a book with more than five words on in their title. And so let me just show you. The first one is like the one that can only fit this challenge, which is like read an author's first novel and that one is Legend by Mary Lou. Again, this is one of my favorite series. Oh my god, I don't know why I'm hitting you. But this series is about a girl named June and a guy named Day and it's set in the future and it's basically the United States in the future has divided into two countries, the Republic and the Colonies. This book takes place in the Republic and it follows June and Day. June is like the Republic's prodigy. She's in a military family and in a society where the military like runs everything. And then Day, he's from the low class of the society. He's the Republic's most wanted criminal. And I just love this series. And Mary Lou is coming out with a continuation novel uh, on this series. And I just really want to go back and read it again. And I've read Legend like three times actually. I read Prodigy twice and I haven't reread Champion because that, that that's just sad. That, it just breaks my heart. So if I don't read that one, which I'm hoping I will, but if I don't, because I mm, might not be in the mood for it, uh, I'll read then. I'll read either Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief or oh, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. So Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, me and Percy, we go way back. We, we started hanging out at the age of 12 and I think I was 12 and yeah he just uh was it for me uh he's literally my childhood I don't know I just have this desire to go back into my childhood and just read about Percy and his friends and his adventures and hopefully I will be picking this one up but if not then I'll be picking up Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. So I met Harry when I was the wee age of 16. I really enjoyed Harry Potter when I first read it. I read the whole series like back to back to back and now I just kind of want to go back and tap my favorite part and take notes on it like I did with A Lord of Shadows and just go through the world again. Also um, that being said these two fit the bill for books with more than five words in the title Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, that's six. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, six. And then also they both have movies, so I probably will be reading and watching Harry Potter and not watching Percy because they messed you up. They just did you wrong in your movie. And it's okay. Um, so yeah. And then both of them are like not human. So I think that completes the fifth challenge. He's a wizard. He's only half human, he's a demigod. And yeah, so anyways, those are it. Those are my picks. I'm really excited. I feel like I can do this. I can beat the challenges. Why are you me? Thanks, Ma. <laughs> my mom just came in. I'm excited, basically, I'm, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm excited. And um, I hope you guys will join in. I hope you guys also read. Yeah, so I'll let you go now that you've seen my books and I will talk to you guys later. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more of me. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye!